Happy Monday. Well, I was asleep at some point last night. Something came in to, I don't know if I was dreaming about it or um, just the statement like, the work to validate your own self-worth. Now that's something that I strive to do on a daily basis, but it was just interesting to me that I, that, that came up in my dream. Um, or yeah, I guess it came up in my dream. I don't know, I, re I don't remember the actual context in which it was there, but I do remember that because I was like, interesting. Um, and, I, and I love it because I think that we are, as human beings, uniquely qualified to validate our own self-worth. But in, in the social context and the, um, the society which we primarily live in, um, you know, first through third world, you know, it's the media and the consciousness of, of the collective consciousness is to get your validation from an exterior source to take something to feel better when we can do our best to shift the tides and educate and communicate and reinforce the idea that you are and we are perfectly flawed as human beings as we are we have all of the answers and all of the validation we need within ourselves the idea that we're not enough is an idea that we've attached to as young children or middle age, or, you know, or teenagers. Um, and that, you know, look, people do bad things and there are bad people, but the reinforced idea and belief from a young age through adolescence does not help to continue to tell a story um, and to continue to think or desire exterior validation to fill one's self-worth. It just isn't. Um, it's not an ideal model. You know, the same concept of like parenting oneself, you know, we are, as we get to through adolescence and in our 20s, it's, you know, 30s and 40s and 50s, you should need the parent. You should be parenting yourself in such a way. It's the same as the same way you would want to be parented. So if you want, if you desired and enjoyed being yelled at, which I doubt, if you're yelling at yourself, you're parenting yourself that way. Um, so I don't know. I don't have kids yet, <laughs> but if and when I have the privilege and the honor of raising a young child um, that, you know, I want to, you know, nurture and do, I guess, a better job than I would, than what we, I don't know if a better job, my parents did the best they could with what they had and what they were taught. And I think as we've grown as a society um, and psychologically, as a society, we know more about the raising and nurturing of our youth. And it's our responsibility to educate and open their minds. Um, and I think young people have a, a wider span of things uh, consciously than, than maybe we, uh, my generation. So, I don't know. But like I said, I don't have kids, so maybe I'm just talking out the side of my neck. Peace, much love.